This talk is about airspacev.com. I have to say I'm a computer scientist and a hobby pilot. Um, and the um, idea was to present some aviation information on the internet, on the website. Well, that's now what this talk is about. Some information about the website, a short overview. Then uh, what, what I've, well, which, which challenges I face and solved uh, to find, to compute distances for points of interest around. And finally, the last two points are about um, text, text search, uh, auto-completion in large, large sets of data. So the first one is that uh, when you open a page on this website, you'll see, at first you see um, the map, nip, map nick map. Uh, with an overlay which shows um, shows uh, a dot for each air airport in in view, and uh, you can select certain regions, like I did here for Belgium, uh, where inside this region you see the dots in blue. Outside they are gray, um, so all dots here are airports, but the blue one are the Belgian ones. Then if you zoom in. Here you see Brussels Airport. You zoom in, uh, then you also get markers for the for airports. Uh, these are the the blue rings um, because this is the well, it's it's a sign on the the official maps. And you, here you also see something like uh, navigation aids. Uh, this is a, a radio beacon which can be used or which is used for navigation. Um, yeah, as I said, map data, uh, maps can be configured. You, you can, can choose the base layer or overlay layers uh, on your own. Um, some are pre-configured. Uh, MapNIC I already talked about, then uh, ESRI images to get some satellite images or the here map. Then there's also FAA produces for or publishes uh, sectional maps. These are aviation maps for the US, and what's also interesting are topographic maps and hill shading. Might be interesting or is interesting for aviation, not necessarily in, um, in Belgium or the Netherlands, but um, for instance, if you fly in Austria or Switzerland, then um, it can become a real concern. The projection of the markers has already been pre-computed. Um, so, even well, we have several ten thousand markers on uh, in the whole database. Um, this this projection is pre-computed to to get them rendered quickly. Then, uh, if you click an airport um, or a nav aid on the map, then um, a tooltip shows and. Um, if you if you click on get information uh, on on the marker, you can first get some general aviation airport codes, location, and stuff. But you can also uh, switch through the t uh, tabs and get weather information, runway information. No terms means no term means notification for airmen. Uh, these are official informations like closed runways or stuff like that. Frequencies, nav aids around, airports around. If you want to um, to do a flight of an hour or so at a certain speed, then you can just choose your airports. Uh, if you don't know where to go, you can just browse through the, the airports in the, the corresponding distance. Finally, web links and comments. Well, MISH is um, terms and conditions, uh, like cookie uh, use of cookies or uh, terms of use. and. Above that, you also see this uh, location field. Here you can enter the code or the name of an airport. And uh, I'm currently extending it again. Uh, it has already been done before, I've, but I have to do it again. Um, I'm now working on it to extend it on populated places or other significant points. Uh, yeah. And the data which is which has been shown now on on this uh, on this page, um, well, where where does it come from? 
uh, airport nav nav data currently comes from our airports.com. This will be uh, will be completed and uh, verified, but I come to that later. Then magnetic variation, which is not a concern in Europe because it's rather low here, but for instance in the US, then you get several degrees when you when you um, navigate or when you use a compass for navigation, you get a deviation of several degrees. Um, it is computed by well get WMA. This is a formula or it's a JavaScript program which is published uh, by NOAA um, to get the to compute. Uh, the, navi the, the magnetic or the strength and orientation of the magnetic field on any place on Earth. Sunrise and sunset data, they, uh, or also the twilight day times, uh, routines for that are already included in PHP. Weather information and no terms are, are um, picked up at websites and published here again and this information are cached just to, to keep the, the load on, on these websites low. So in the future we, ha uh, we have to, to extend it, as I already said, to check and complete the current data. So our airports.com has many airports where, um, where runway information is not yet available or some information is, well, not only missing, but some is also wrong um, or outdated. And uh, it's not really complete. So, for instance, in the official documentation, you find information about obstacles like towers, uh, wind parks, or whatever, or bridges, high bridges. And most interesting, um, I found that there are still navigation lights, so lighthouses, which can be used for airplane navigation. From in my, my home country in Germany, we don't have any, but in in Belgium, there are some. I think some 10 uh, of them and one is even here in Brussels which is especially interesting because the airspace over Brussels is prohibited. You may not fly there but there's, there's a lighthouse standing around. Hmm? Um, I have to check that. Um, yeah, well airspace, uh, airspace, something like prohibited areas or control zones um, also have to uh, have to be introduced and uh, and shown um, on on this website and all these data are published by by the officials in in PDF format and um, they have to be converted and then parsed to to get into this website. Well, finally, web links currently there are only at most one or two uh, Wikipedia links for each each airport. Um, and plan is to to also to to uh, to include official airports webs websites or uh, flight schools flying clubs stuff like that. Software used for all this is PHP, as I already said. Databases SQLite for um, for the aviation data. MySQL is used by the the common system. jQuery for the UI. Leaflet to render the maps. Then static map light. Um, I found that, and it's it's great to to already show a map uh, while the 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 tile map is still rendering. Um, so you get a first impression. You can already see if you're at the at the right point. Well, get WMA. I already talked about that. And Comantix is a common system I'm using for uh, on this website. Um, yeah, but now. I'm, as I said, uh, SQLite. The problem here is that um, when I want to compute distances for to, to find the nearest airports or the navigates to a certain point, um, okay, I can assume that that Earth is, is a sphere. This gives a very low error. Um, there is a this have a sign formula, which I've copied here, uh, which gives you from latitude and longitude the distance on, on Earth's surface. Um, the point here is SQLite doesn't provide, uh, doesn't provide trigonometric functions, yes, so you have to, to pre-compute the sine and cosine. This 
at first to to make it possible at all, but also to uh, it's it's useful to increase increase performance um, because. I can't tell about current processes, but sine and cosine typically are not not hardware implemented. So you have to some some subroutines have run, and uh, causing some some delay or some performance loss. Um, but there is there is this uh, this term of cosinus and the difference of the two cosine uh, of difference of two longitudes. So f to to put these in into a table, you have to to put uh, put put it into a table for each combination you have in in database. So this means you get quadratic complexity. For some f fifty thousand airports, you get more than two and a half billion um, billion items to store, and each are two at least well at least two times uh, four bytes at least. To get reasonable accuracy, this is quite a lot, and it's too much. Is it really? Well, there was this. Uh, I said yes, we can. Uh, in a modification of this um, this election slogan, uh, which has been around a few years ago, there is this trigonometric identity. So the cosine of a, of a difference. Can also be evaluated at these four evaluations of uh, other trigonometric values, um, but these four can now now these four can be stored again in um, in the table because there is um, well there's no more the quadratic uh, complexity we get back to linear, and so using this uh, this formula we can we really can. Uh, store all the sines and cosines in in table, and um, well, this allows to to use a database like SQLite, which doesn't provide trigonometric functions, or uh, it would also mean um, becoming faster on um, uh, if if you use well other other databases that that uh, have uh, have the ability to provide. Or to calculate trigonometric functions. Well, then, final point was the name search. I'm taking or I'm using the the geographic name uh, information system of BGA and NGA. It's an American, yeah, it's an originally a military uh, data set, and uh, it has several 10 million items in it, which is quite a lot, and. Um, Databases um, are well typically are slow on on these uh, on these sides of sizes of data. So there is um, some optimization built in uh, on this website that I use uh, or um, a large file is used with all the entries in it and the quick system. Does anybody know the quick system? Nobody. It has been. I've also uh, encountered it when I studied uh, in the at the end of the 80s in the library that each ti the title of each book was listed and um, alphabetically according to the to each word in in the title. So this I, I can't really tell uh, without without a reasonable example. And I couldn't find one uh, so far um, how this looks like, but it's it's impressive to see and. Um, you can really quickly search through through large lists um, by keyword using this this uh, concept. The uh, extension of this uh, is the suffix array, which is a data structure which is uh, rather new, well rather new, but already more than twenty five years old, but it's still not used very much and the idea behind it is that we if we have such a string like bananas. Then we take each suffix on it, give it an index, so just according to its order in, in the in the string. Then we order these sets of in the index and uh, strings according to the string. And um, in this in this uh, data structure, we can do binary search, and by this method find um, find each string according to its match, or just uh, do some prefix match, 
You already notice I'm getting a bit faster uh, because time is running out. Um, yeah, but using this using this method, uh, you get very fast. And uh, many years ago, I already implemented this on the first info, uh, first version of spsv.com more than 15 years ago. And at that time, I talked to some Google technician who was impressed by the speed I, I reached with this uh, approach. So we come to, to the end and uh, can say, well, spsv.com provides uh, aviation data. Data is partially stored, partially retrieved while, uh, while, while querying the, the, um, the website uh, and can be used for, for simulation or for, for choosing routes, for choosing, choosing destinations um, or for evaluating uh, flights you, you have done. Um, but there is no endorsement for navigation, so you must not use it to, uh, as a sole mean of, of flight planning. What I also uh, experienced here was um, this quote of Edison Genius is 1% inspiration and 99% uh, perspiration. Um, you get the idea and it's, yeah, well, it's, it's coming, it's popping up in mind uh, immediately and uh, then you're sitting there days and days and uh, get new inspirations and uh, finally somehow, well, there's no end in sight, <laughs> put it uh, that way. So consequently, this website is work in pro progress. There are lots of extensions and improvements uh, thinkable and uh, there will come lots of them. Um, for instance, uh, you've, you might have seen that there are some social network links on it, but I will also uh, introduce uh, some gamification, something like been there, done that, that you can, can click uh, as airports where you have been and uh, there will be some kind of ranking. Um, this just to attract, attract visitors. Um, the layout will be reworked because it's suboptimal currently and uh, the ideas I've pre presented, like the, um, the uh, distance calculation and the string search, can also be used in other, could also be used in other software, like maps.me, um, which in, for my, my feeling seems rather low when, uh, rather slow when, when finding, uh, finding strings in its database. So that's it so far. Any questions? Yep. Do you have any plans to store like historical chart data for previous years? Kind of just see how the airspace has changed. Uh, question was, um, I don't know if I, if it's really necessary if I uh, repeat it now because. Yeah, but the recording doesn't work. Or does it? Yeah, well, anyway, a uh, question was uh, if there are any plans to, to also store historical data to see how, how airspace has changed or stuff like that. Um, no, the plan is not there for me, but as I said in the beginning, you can add your, your own layers. And the uh, um, idea will be uh, that, uh, that well, uh, a mechanism will be built to, to uh, publish such individual layers that you can give them to to friends to other people uh, to other people uh, who are interested in it that's also the the, the, uh, the idea of flexibility uh, on this website any other questions yeah uh, is uh, your website addressed uh, mainly to private pilots or also uh, to commercial pilots Question here is if the website uh, is addressing only private pilots or also commercial pilots. Um, I would say private pilots at most because um, and I've, it's, it's ha doesn't have an official certification for flight preparation. So if you rely on it, if you rely only on it without considering the official documents, um, then you are making an error as a pilot. And um, I would expect that commercial pilots, uh, commercial pilots, pilots wouldn't, be, wouldn't have the need to consider the data which is, on this, uh, which is provided on this website. I have another question. Yeah. Uh, 
Yeah. yeah. No. Uh, just. Do you plan to uh, put in more uh, information from other sources, which could be interesting? Like, let's say, for example, um, transponder data, which is uh, which you can receive freely, and you could uh, put, let's say, some weather information in which you get from the aircraft. Or which what could be also interesting for private pilots, uh, uh, some values like uh, where the free, the freezing altitude, let's say like that, you you have the uh, the temperature depending on the altitude or the winds, uh, um, high altitude wind readings. Uh, do you plan to put in some uh, dynamic data like that? Okay question here is um, if there are plans to put in more or more or other aviation data like transponder codes or um, uh, freezing altitudes or weather uh, altitude winds uh, stuff like that dynamic data was also a keyword in the question um, yeah plans are there but um, the difficulty is to find the data on the net um, in a form that that it can be used here. For instance, the altitude winds have been in, in the first version of the website and they have been, well, they have been cut out of, um, of wind maps, uh, which wasn't very pleasant um, and not very useful. So, yeah, it's a question of um, uh, what cost, the, the cost value question here again. So, if there is no other question, then...